Forewarn Weather with Damian Lotus. Well, I'm tracking a risk of severe weather as we head into this evening, and that's going to kick off that risk of severe weather that's going to last as we head throughout the weekend. So we have our team of trackers across western Oklahoma. They are fanned out watching this storm zone across both the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle. So our storm trackers are out. They are looking off to the west. We're starting to see a little bit more cloud coverage in the forecast out here, and we are starting to see some storms developing here between about Amarillo up into the southwestern parts of Kansas. So this is our storm trackers. This is what they're looking at. So let's go and switch back over to show you that line of thunderstorms that's making its way through right now just the Oklahoma Panhandle. So the storm motion is going to be to the northeast, about 30 miles an hour. So these storms are moving pretty quick, which will help limit that flooding potential. But we, are, we have seen reports of large hail with some of these storms. So that's going to be the primary threat here across western Oklahoma as we head into this evening. Temperatures outside, we have a mix of 70s and 80s, so still pretty warm outside across the state. The other thing we've been dealing with all day, look at these little blue numbers. These are live wind gusts from the Oklahoma Mesonet. We've seen some 40 to even 50 mile an hour straight line wind gusts here for central and especially western Oklahoma. And these winds, they're going to last pretty much all afternoon all evening and th unfortunately throughout the weekend. So here's a look at our evening temperatures here across the state at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll be in the low to mid 70s, muggy weather, windy weather here for this evening. But overall across the majority of the state, we'll see dry weather. Some thunderstorm chances possible off to our west. I'll continue to track that as we head into tonight. And for tonight, the highest potential for severe weather is going to be across northwestern. Oklahoma here for the Oklahoma City Metro. I'll put about a 20% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms along the I-35 corridor. This will include the Oklahoma City Metro and this will extend through sunrise Saturday morning. So what does that mean? It means that these thunderstorm chances will have an impact here on your 5K and kids marathon for tomorrow morning. We'll see temperatures starting off in the low to mid 60s. Pretty mild start, right? Sunrise is going to be at 647, but as we head throughout the morning, we'll see temperatures in the 70s by about 10 a.m. with cloudy skies and even some early morning shower chances for the 5K and that kids marathon. So continue to watch out for that. So as we head into Saturday afternoon, that's when the risk of severe weather is really going to ramp up across the state. We'll see the highest potential for severe weather along the I-44 corridor, the Oklahoma City Metro, and down to the south along I-35 towards the Red River. As far as the overall threats, there will be a threat for large hail here across the state, primarily central Oklahoma, quarter to even golf ball size hail possible with some of these storms as they develop during the afternoon and evening hours. There's also going to be a risk of damaging winds with 50, 60, even 70 plus mile an hour winds, primarily here in this area shaded in orange. And this includes a majority of the body of the state of Oklahoma. And we're also gonna be watching out for that threat of severe weather with the tornado threat, primarily after five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, heading into tomorrow evening. And it looks like the bullseye for that is once again going to be central Oklahoma. As far as the overall storm timeline, storms will develop across western Oklahoma around three o'clock, work their way through the metro by about five to six. And then after that, we're going to watch those storms continue to push their way into eastern Oklahoma as we head throughout Saturday evening into Sunday morning. And speaking of Sunday morning, this is your marathon forecast. We were talking about how strong the winds are going to be. They're going to be out of the north, gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour with some shower chances to begin, but rain chances will start to taper off by about 10 a.m. We'll see temperatures starting off in the 50s that's going to be chilly, but we will see temperatures getting into the 60s by about 10 a.m. as well. Seven day forecast, mild conditions tonight, overnight lows in the 60s will be in the upper 70s to low 80s for your Saturday, but all eyes are going to be on that threat of severe weather late Saturday, early Sunday. We'll see temperatures dipping into the 60s because of that cold front on Sunday, watching out for a chilly start for that Memorial Marathon. We'll see a quiet stretch a couple days here early to mid parts of next week. Watching some more thunderstorm chances late next week before it looks like we can see some more 90s heading into next weekend. But as of right now, we're going to have our trackers out watching the threat of severe weather tonight, this evening and into the weekend. Stay right here. We'll be